Safety Instrumented Function or SIF based on ANSI or ISA 84.00.01 or IEC 61511 modification define a safety instrumented function as the safety function with a specific safety integrity level which is necessary to achieve function safety where a function to be implemented in SIS which is intend to achieve or maintain a safe state for the process with respect to a specific hazards event. Example potential safety instrumented function should add the isolate outlet while in the separation unit to prevent a high pressure from going to downstream which might result in a rupture and explosion. Cut off the fuel flow of the burner when the fuel pressure too low which might result in flame out and possible explosion due to accumulation of unburned fuels in the burner. Open the coolant flow valve to prevent the column rupture due to over temperature. Open the sprinkle valve when a flame is detected in order to reduce the size of the fires. Safety instrumented function or SIF composition. The first one is sensor. All fuel sensors are used to collect information necessary to demand if an emergency situation exists. The purpose of this sensor is to measure a process parameter, such as the temperature, pressure, flow level, or etc., to demand if the equipment or process condition. Type of sensor are arranged from the simple pneumatic or electrical switch to smart transmitter with onboard diagnostic. Second one, logic solver, is proposed to determine what action is to be taken based on the information gathered. It is typically used a controller that reads the signal from the sensor and executes by a pre-programmed action to prevent a hazard by providing output to final control elements. Logic solver are very often is the programmable or non-programmable device. It also can be mechanical in form of the switch set to trip the function. Final element are the element that will implement the action determined by the logic solver. These final elements are typically an automated on off valve with a valve fail close or fail open function. What is the safety integrity level of sales? Each safety instrumented function has a specific a safety integrity level of sales, which is necessary to achieve the function of the safety. So what the safety integrity level is? Since the consequence severity and the likelihood frequency determine the risk and risk deduction, in some cases, the risk of the hazard is within the tolerable risk. So no risk deduction is needed, but for some cases, even considering the present, the outer safety layer, but the risk is still intolerable so level. Additional risk deduction is required for that case. Adding the SIS or SIS protection layer will be required. The quantity of the risk deduction is specific by order of magnitude levels called safety integrity level or SIS as indicated below picture. Safety indicative levels are ranking from the 1 to 4. By magnitude of the property failure of demand or leak selection factor. What is the leak selection factor? From above table, safety indicative level can be present in form of PFD average or Risk reduction factor or risk reduction factor. Risk reduction is more easy to understand since on operation of the industrial plant, there are a risk inherent. Sometimes that risk is inacceptable. Sometimes the risk is unacceptable high. A lower level of risk is required by corporate, the on exiting safeguard layer. However, in some cases, the remaining inherent risk is still higher than the acceptable risk level. Then the risk reduction by SIS is required. This is the picture. 
you can see from the process risk to on the left side. The risk is too high. Risk inherent in the process. And it's, it can be reduced by means of the outer layer of protection. But the remaining inherence risk is still higher than acceptable risk. So we have to add SIS. This is the correct concept. However, the state of inherence risk and acceptable risk is really hard to quantify. So the way to quantify is measure of the risk reduction capability through PFD or probability of failure on demand. Since the beginning, it is assumed that the SIS has been proper programmed. It can reduce the risk whenever it is operated successfully in response to perform demand to a process demand, but it will not reduce the risk if it fails. Follow demand system, a dangerous condition occur infrequently. Therefore, PFD average is considered as a reverse of risk reduction factor. I mean, uh, if it's the inversion of the probability failure on demand average. How much seal is required? As per the above the picture, the seal are length between 1 to 4 is depend on probability failure, demand, and all this reduction. But how can we find the seal's level? There are several ways to, de to determine the seal which is published by the IEC standard. Shall I the IEC 6151-3 and ISA standard is 84.01 application of the safety instrumented system for the process industrial. However, for example, methodology to do that is the safety layer metric, risk graph or layer of protection analysis all over. I will present you the next video how to determine the serious level. Thank you for watching this video and let's see you on next video. Bye bye.